these beautiful lineup. All right, give me the key. been a minute since I've been back on this bike I've missed it I'm pretty sure some of you guys have missed it uh, it's true that I have three bikes but all three of my bikes have problems with them uh, the H2 has a clutch issue clutch slipping if you guys haven't seen that check it out also I have the belly it's, it's like a little belly pan uh, it's not a full belly panel I don't know what it's called it's like a little fairing on the bottom of the H2 that keeps kind of like coming loose uh, for whatever reason even though I use the Loctite so I have that too and the V4 one sec the V4 has a problem with its tune which hopefully I'll be taking very soon or tomorrow to the shop so we can look into that because yeah I have this idling issue and the bike kind of keeps just like dying on me when I'm stopped or when I'm in really low rpms uh, bike is not supposed to be like that it kind of uh, revs randomly trying to adjust itself but the idle is too low and it just dies so the V4 has that issue and this bike is getting close to its annual fluid change it is at, let's find out. Oh, I missed it. It's at 7,300 miles. 7,500 is when I'm supposed to do the uh, fluid on this bike. You know, an oil change. Look at my brake uh, fluid's looking pretty dark. So, you know, just change everything the brake, the oil, uh, all that good stuff. Everything is fresh and new. Especially because I change my uh, fluids about every 2,500 miles Just because it's recommended to change it like way way you don't need to change it that often But I ride my bikes aggressively. I also took this R1M to the track So, you know, I don't want to damage the engine. It doesn't hurt if you just change it a little bit sooner You know keep the bike running as good as possible Especially when it looks dark like this that's when you know that you need new fluids because it's not supposed to be this dark and I need gas <laughs> all three bikes kind of aren't you know need maintenance done and issues that need to be fixed uh, but hopefully that will be resolved soon right now I took the R1M because convinced my friend to get a bike he ended up uh, getting a V4S and he told me that he's experiencing some like weird noises and stuff like that since I've had a V4S and a V4R he wants me to ride it and check it out so that's what we're gonna do
<laughs> no. It's been a while since I rode this bike. Look at it, it's all dusty. Look at that screen. Yeah. Poor baby. I miss riding it. I don't feel like I'm gonna kill myself on this one like the other ones. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Look at these. Beautiful lineup. Alright, give me the key. Let me ride this. See what's wrong with it. Oh, I think they changed the key with the new ones. Mine doesn't look like this. Not as fancy as mine. Mine is fancier. I have a custom key on the R1. Check it out. Oh, you had every key? Mm-hmm. I have three keys for this bike. <laughs> the H2, I need to get more keys because I only have one key. And that key, if I lose it, it's $500. Yep. Ducatis tend to make some weird noises, unlike other bikes. But... <laughs> All right. Let me see how many miles I got. Oh, 240 miles. You're not even at the break-in period. Oh, it's already warm. What have you guys been up to? <laughs> Alright, traction control is high, so let's change the settings into... Oh, this is a brand new one. See, mine just has race. This has race A and race B. Alright, let's... Up, down. Let's do race A. Let's change some of the setting. Engine braking, we'll have it at 2. Traction control at 2. Wheelie control at 2. Slide control at 2. Alright. That sounds good enough. <laughs> I was trying to upshift while slowing down. Yeah, the clutch feels very different too. This bike feels actually really good. It's torquey. I don't know if you guys know, but the 1199 uh, engines, is it 1199? No, 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 it's not an 1199. I think it's 1100. I have no idea. I think it's an 1100. It's a thousand, it's 100 cc's more than mine. Uh, but yeah, I think these engines do make more torque than the V4R. And I totally feel that. bike feels amazing it rides perfect I don't know what noises they say it's making but it feels really good it's smooth the far Ducati this is actually really smooth they definitely improved it from the older models because this is an S, I had a 2019 V4S, and it's way smoother. Like mine was with a full exhaust system, full carbon fiber, and this one is way smoother, way better. Like popping wheelies is so nice on this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's way easier, to, but that in comparison to my R, this is a piece of cake. Really? I'm like so comfortable on this. The R is sketchy, dude. It's, it's, it just wants to go. Yeah. yeah. But this one, the nice thing about it, it has more low end torque. Pretty nice lineup. All right, give me your key. Let me see if I'm gonna feel any difference between the new, new ones. Cause I haven't ridden the 2022s. Yeah. I've ridden the 21s and, oh, should I get out of the shot? <laughs> yeah, I've ridden the 21s and uh, the first year, the 20, I think. All right. Do you have it? One mode do you have it in? All right, race mode. I don't know his race mode settings, but we'll keep it in that. Interesting. It doesn't have a temper gauge. 
temper <laughs> temperature gauge like right there because usually I want to see that gauge right there that's how I know you know how warm the bike gets before I take it out but there you go I hear it like idling down that's usually when it starts warming up oh I popped it in second because I'm used to the GP shift <laughs> Wow, it was like very smooth. Okay, yeah, this bike is butter, yo. Damn, that rear brake is like non-existent almost. It turns easier. It feels smaller. This is such an easier bike to ride. Way more flickable in my opinion. Clutch release is like way later too in this bike. It's in race mode, so probably uh, our wheelie control shouldn't be on, but it definitely. The bike, yeah, it literally doesn't want to come up. Try one last time. Haha. <laughs> I think it's because of the rev limiter. That one's more fun. That one feels more like definitely, it. definitely. But this this one is like butter smooth. Yeah, that this one's smooth. Yeah. This is like, this is wonderful. Very, very different. To get on a bike for the first time, this felt so yeah. much like I was did not that scared. Like oh yeah, this one came up like easy. This thing just wants to go up. I was yeah. This is literally the order of the bikes. This one is too smooth. This one is right in between. This one just like, it's this is this is how the bike is. I love, I love this. This is very me. I I'm not personally. I don't want to get a bike to be comfortable and smooth. You know. Technology. This one has a technology. It's just smoother. Technology. They're the same. See, I understand Ducati. They're not. They can't put a cruise control on these bikes. But they're like, these are not cruising bikes they're race bikes yeah. so they have a theory why they don't have cruising control and i mean this one has heated grips if you install the setup so but yeah the electronic suspension feels really good mine is way more stiff very clean i like but yeah she rides real good if you if you ever tried the v4r you're gonna be like whoa what is wrong with this bike but that's just how they ride they're very like they make a lot of noises you know what i mean yeah. that's you, what i was like something's wrong no once this is like done exhaust all of that this is like the crazy one this is right in between this is like the smooth comfortable bike they're all fast but that's how the ride feels how much with all of them is that faster than that uh no you make way more power than me really? yeah i'm i'm tuned with an exhaust and i'm making like 183 yeah. yeah with a proper exhaust probably like 187 so like 180s pretty much you're definitely 190s yeah, and wow. this is 200s. Huh? Stock or tune? No, no, no. Exhaust and tune. Mm. Exhaust, air filter, and tune. Like the basic stuff. No engine work. Yeah. This is 80s, 90s, 200s. Low 200s. The R got high 200s. Yeah. Well, 200, like 205, you know. Yeah. Not like high 200s as in like 290. Yeah. <laughs> That's H2 numbers only. Yeah, no. That's only H2 numbers. All right, going to end the video here. Let me know which bike of these three you guys would choose in the comments. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, Right Safe.